Hey guys, I'm Christy and today we are going to be going over the first three problems of every worksheet in the fourth grade. So the first problem in the first worksheet was 10 over 20. And so this is asking what 10 over 20 is simplified. Now what we have to do is find the greatest common factor for both the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, what are both of these numbers divisible by and what is the greater no greatest number that both of these numbers are this divisible by? Now if we look at these two numbers, both of them are divisible by 10. So 10 divided by 10 would be 1, and 20 divided by 10 would be 2, and that gives you your answer 1 half. The second question asks the simplified form for 20 over 70. Now what's the greatest common factor for 20 and 70? Both of these numbers, just like the first question, are divisible by 10, which means you would divide both by 10. So if you divide 20 by 10, you get 2, correct? And if you divide 70 by 10, you would get 7. So that means that your final answer would be 2 over 7. So to simplify 3 over 12, both of these numbers are not divisible by 10, which means you have to find another number that both of these numbers are divisible by. In this case, the greatest number that both of these numbers are divisible by are 3, because 3 is divisible by itself, and 12 can be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 equals 1, and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So that means that your answer would be 1 fourth. Now on the second worksheet, the first question was 6 over 7 is greater than, equal to, or less than 2 over 7. So first, we look at the denominators and we see that both of these numbers are the same. So we go up and look at both numerators. As you can see here, this number is greater than this number. So that means that this 6 over 7 is a greater number than the 2 over 7. If you create a pie chart and split it into 7, this is not going to be split evenly, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so if it's split into 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we split both of these circles into 7. And this is 6 over 7, so we shade in 6 of the 7 pizza slices from this whole pizza. And that would that would shade almost all of this circle. Now if we shade two, sevenths, uh, two of the seven slices of this pizza, that means that we would only be shading two of these slices. And that is a lot less than this, which proves that six sevenths is greater than two sevenths. Now number two asks, one third is greater than, equal to, or less than one tenth. As you can see here, both the numerators are one, so they're both the same numbers. So then you look at the denominators and see which one is smaller. The number with the smaller denominator means that it is a greater fraction. So one third is greater than one tenth, because if we draw a pie chart here again, one third would be only filling or filling in one of these slices, which is a pretty big portion of this pizza. Now, if we split it into 10, and we only fill in one, you can see that this pizza is this pizza slice is so much bigger than this pizza slice, which proves that the one third is greater than the one tenth. Now the last problem over here is eight over twelfths is greater than, equal to, or less than one over two. So if we draw this as a pie chart or a pizza again, divide this by twelve, And divide this into two. Eight twelfths would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one half would be half of this pizza. So if we compare these two, we can see that 
this pizza is greater than or this black shaded part is greater than this black shaded part which proves that 8 twelfth is greater than one half or another way you can think of it is you have to make the denominators the same number and if to do that you would multiply the 2 to the 10 or 2 to 6 and 6 times 2 is 12 right so this would equal something over 12. So since you multiplied the denominator by 6, that means you also have to multiply the numerator by 6. So 1 times 6 would be 6. So now that we've made both denominators the same number, we look at the numerators. Which numerator is a bigger number? And we can see that the 8 is a bigger number, which proves that 8 twelfth is greater than 1 half. Now the third work, oh, also at the end of the second worksheet, there are two sentences. It asks, when denominators are the same, the fraction with the larger numerator is the largest fraction. So as you can see here, both the denominators were the same. And so we had to look at the numerators to see which number was bigger. And the number with the bigger numerator had a greater was a greater fraction than the number with the smaller numerator. Now the second question, or the second sentence says, when numerators are the same, the fraction with the smaller denominator is the largest fraction. If we look at number two, we can see that both the numerators are the same number. So we looked at the denominator and the, de de and the denominator with the smallest number was the greater fraction than the one with the bigger denominator. Now onto the third page. The first question was blank over 11 equals 12 over 44. Now to solve this question, we have to make these two fractions equal to each other. And to do that, we have to make the denominators the same number. So how do we do that? 11 times what equals 44 would make both these the same. So 11 times what equals 44? Or another way you can think of it is 44 divided by 11 equals what? Now in this case, 11 times 4 would equal 44. So since you did it to the, de de since you did it to the denominator, you also have to do it to the numerator. And, and so blank times 4 equals 12. This is the same as saying 12 divided by 4 equals what? And 12 divided by 4 equals 3, which means that 3 twelfths equals 12 over 44. And the number that goes in the box is a 3. Now the second qu question asks 4 fifths equals 12 over what? So you do 4 times what equals 12, or 12 divided by 4 equals what? In this case, 4 times 3 would equal to 12. And since you did it to the numerator, you also have to do it to the denominator. And 5 times 3 equals 15. So that means that the number that goes into the box would be 15. The third question is 6 over 12 equals 24 over what? So just like number 2, we find the number that makes 6 into 24. In this case, it would be 4 because 6 times 4 is 24. We do it to the denominator as well, and 12 times 4 equals 48. And your answer is 24 over 48, and the number that goes into the box is 48. Now the last page, it's asking to see whether or not it, these two fractions are equal to each other. Now to do that, we have to make the denominator is the same number. And that would mean that we have to multiply this 8 by a number to get 88. To do this, you would have to multiply this by 11, because 8 times 11 equals 88. And that would make 8, 88. And since you did it to the denominator, you also have to do it to the numerator. So 7 times 11 is 77. Now, if you look at these two numbers, is 77 over 88 greater than or equal to or less than 91 over 88? As you can see, these two numbers do not equal to each other. So that means that these two equations or these two fractions are not equal to each other. Now number two, 
it says 6 over 6 equals 84 over 84. Now, if you look at this, if a fraction has the same numbers in both the numerator and the denominator, that means that this fraction is equal to 1. So since both of these numbers have the same number in both the numerator and the denominator, you, this means that the, both these fractions are equal to 1. So this would mean this. And 1 does equal to 1. It is true that 1 equals 1 which means that it is true that these two equations are equal to each other. Now the third and last problem that we, we will be going over today is 4 over 4 equals 48 over 40. Now just like number 2, 4 over 4 has the same numbers on both the numerator and the denominator. So that means that this fraction equals 1. And 48 over 40. Is both the numbers on both the numerator and the denominator the same? No, which means that this fraction does not equal 1. So then you already know that these two, equal, these two fractions do not equal each other. So yeah, that was the end of reviewing the problems on the worksheets for fourth grade. Hope you understand everything now and hope you have a great day. Bye!